morning and welcome to our thought for the day. I'd like to read you a verse this morning from Proverbs. And it's Proverbs chapter 3, verse 25 and 26. Be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of the destruction of the wicked when it cometh, for the Lord shall be thy confidence, and he shall keep thy foot from being taken. The simple title I've given this morning is A Mind at Rest. Your mind at rest. My mind at rest. What a wonderful it is, uh, a thing it is to have your mind at rest in the world in which we live in. That is something wonderful to show that Christ is in your life. You see, we are told many times that God will judge this world throughout Scripture. We have seen God's judgment come upon this world through Scripture. We read of Sodom and Gomorrah. We read of Noah and the ark. Noah knew that Noah knew that judgment was coming, and he warned the people that were there with him at that time, but they would not listen. All things haven't changed much of it, as we continue to tell people about Jesus and his coming, and that he's coming back to judge the world. They wouldn't listen. But when God closed the door upon the ark, and the rain began to fall, those that laughed were now crying out with fear. But it was too late. Oh, God help no one to miss the open door of salvation today. Jesus said, I am the door. And he is ready for you to come in through that door to receive salvation. Don't miss out on this wonderful salvation. For the day will come when Jesus comes through the clouds and it will be too late for you to re receive salvation. But you were lost for all eternity. And yet we read that no one and all his family was safe. You see, things are happening in our world today that are frightening. And God's judgment is coming upon our world. Again, I say to you, don't leave it too late before you put things right with God. God's word tells us that people's hearts will fail them for fear. And we see it happening each and every day uh, of our lives. And sad to say, many so-called Christians are filled with fear as well. But our text says, be not afraid. And then it goes on to say why that we have no need to fear. It says, because the Lord shall be thy confidence because the lord shall be thy confidence friends we who know christ have no need to fear he is here to defend us he is here to defend the righteous he desires us to show great courage for his glory for we in, who enjoy the presence of god ought to display the presence of mind that god is with us that the Lord will have his chosen to display discrimination so that they may see that the uh, desolation of the wicked is not a real calamity, but it is a preserving salt to keep the society in which we live in from rotting in the filth of sin that is all around us. Satan the serpent is forever subtly trying to bring fear to the hearts of God, God's people. But Jesus, through his blood, brings freedom from fear. Peace with God and confidence in Christ. And the true Christian will know their mind at rest. Because the same power that raised Christ from the dead dwells in you and dwells in me. Oh, what a promise this morning, friends, that peace is ours. The rest is ours, that our mind can be at rest. That's the place where the battle's going on. That's the place where the fear comes. That's the place where the enemy attacks us. We can know the victory in our mind. God bless you once again. And God be all that you need this day. And I speak to you again tomorrow morning. God bless.